What's up, guys? This is Eddie Rod here, and my buddy Plastic Sporks coming back at you for some more of the Kerbal Space Program multiplayer. This is KSP.23. Sporks, how you doing today, man? Not too bad. How about yourself? Oh, I'm doing pretty good now that I'm looking at this big behemoth of a rocket in front of me. Um, you want to tell the people what we're doing today? Yeah, um, after many attempts at failing to rendezvous and dock with each other, we decided, hey, we're blowing each up already. Why not we go ahead and make that the point of our next mission? And so what we're going to be doing <laughs> is going to Duna, uh, hopefully, and getting uh, captured by Duna, obviously, land on Duna, and then trying to blow each other up with these little uh, rovers we made. Uh, we got a couple of yeah. challenges and little... Uh, uh, competitions going on like the first person to Duna um, and lands the other person has to rendezvous with, with them on the ground and whoever wins yep. a little skirmish gets to name the Duna base I believe uh, if, yeah. there, if, if if we can decide on a winner we might fail completely we might not be able to hit each other but it's all gonna be fun and I think uh, I think uh, we're gonna enjoy this it's gonna be really fun yeah. I can't wait I can't wait let me close my little chat window. I'm closing the chat window, but leaving the other thing open. All right, guys. So uh, definitely, yeah, they're looking at my rover right here, and it is just beefy. And everybody on your channel is checking your rover out. Of course, they can check vice versa channels out. Yep. There'll link be links below and to sports channel. All that. Yep. Oh man, it, it's it's gonna be a battle, man. We're gonna have a freaking battle. And everybody, please don't make fun of my main attack weapon in the central of my <laughs> rover. I know. I didn't plan it to be that way. You'll see it. Just if you catch it, drop me a comment. If you don't catch it, well, good for you. I'm very glad you did. All right. Yeah. So, all right. Um, I think my launch stage is ready and everything. And uh, I built a, just a monstrosity because uh, um, Sporks over there said that his ship had the Delta V all around the solar system twice. So, yeah. It's a, so I didn't want to be underdressed for the party, you know, so so I built a big rocket, too. And uh, for some mm -hmm. reason, whenever I load, my uh, steam goes crazy. I believe what you said is you felt you were underdressed because I had so much Delta V in my upper stages that uh, you, had to, you mm. had to up the ante on your ship. Is that correct, more or less? Yep, yep, definitely. You, this was something like 10,000 Delta V you had or something yeah, like that in your upper stage. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's obviously because of these uh, atomic engines I'm using, the uh, LV, LVNs. Uh, but that's, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot. I could go to Duna and back a couple times if I wanted, I think. Okay, yeah, definitely. I know I could, I could go to Duna and come back probably twice or three times. I've got enough Delta V to go there three times. I know that. Yeah, um, yeah, you have a lot of Delta V on yours. But you, oh my god, you, you could go to Eve and probably land and take off again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, another mission, if another If you day. had the thrust to weight ratio. Right. Um, You ready to launch these bad boys, man, or what? You want to launch first or what? Yeah, I'm ready. I mean, whichever. It doesn't matter. Oh, actually, you go ahead and launch. One last little thing that I'm going to throw on mine is just a little bit of RCS, just so I could turn it. This big old behemoth launch stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. So, yeah, you can launch when you're ready, and I'm launching right behind you in a few minutes. Actually, I think I'm going to time warp till it's day. Yeah, definitely. That's what I was going to do as well. All right. Whipping the planet around, and we'll sync up various times throughout the uh, the mission just to make sure we're on the same page. Mhm. Mm All right, so I think if I put those there, and put some of these up All here. Right, so no. I think I'm ready. So three, two, one, go. And I'm off. I'll see you on. Duty. All right. Off to the races. See you on Duna. All right, all right. I've got my RCS on. I'm saving. Oh, I didn't use any of those freaking things. Oh, that's okay. We, we're just doing rovers anyway. All right, and uh, I'm going to show my audience what I've done here. <laughs> um, what I've done is added some extremities to the bottom here to make it look like, I don't know, you're pumping fuel into the rocket while it's on the launch pad. You see how there's one kind of coming off the side here. It comes off in there. You if know, you want to send a, a, you know. a, a screenshot, I can show my viewers as well. I mean, they can there, all, there obviously always uh, always uh, check out your uh, 
uh, channel as well, but uh, all I'm doing is going straight up right now. Here's a better one. Very nice, very nice. Mm-hmm, okay. So I am going to launch this behemoth into space. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. And they fly off and explode, too. Saw the screenshot. Nice. Oh, God, I messed up. I got a control from here. Control from here. Control from here. Okay, there we go. Woo! <laughs> Close one. All right. So you put my your Kerbal pod on and everything, rockets. right? You have Kerbals with you? No, I don't have my Kerbals! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot the Kerbals! Can I turn back? Yeah, I, yes, yeah, I definitely back. want you to have Kerbals. I mean, I think that'll just be a little... I'm turning back. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually literally turning back. I'm just gonna like pull into the the garage of the with the rockets on and everything. I'm just turning around, just gonna like park in there at 500 meters per second. I'm back! I forgot you guys. <laughs> uh oh. I turned around. Uh, I'm tilting here. There's a screen screenshot for you there. Oh, nice. On my way down. <laughs> yeah, I was I was starting to nose dive to the ground. I, this thing isn't very responsive. I was able to correct it though, so we're good. I'm on my way! I forgot you guys! I'm sorry, I'm back! Oops. Yeah! Oh, I can't wait for them to update it to where, um... When you damage, like, uh... The Kerbal Space Center there, it's gonna be like... You, you have to pay to fix it and stuff, you know? Right, right. All right, so mine's blew up. I'm going back to the space center to get some Kerbals. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot about them. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, my God, because I completely forgot when I went to throw the RCS on. I was like, oh, man, I was thinking about that. I had no control. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see All it right. in, the, in the screenshot. I knew that you, you planned on doing that. So. Yeah, it's going to be awesome what I do, how I get them on there. Let's see, I'm just going to kind of put this, like... Right there. Where is that? Let me put this on a little separate. Uh, upper stage actually looks pretty nice. Not counting the ugly rover on the top. Hmm. I'll send you a screenshot. Oh yeah, that's awesome looking. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Uh, where, where's the thing? What am I doing here? Little Give me wobbly, that. Little wobbly. Now, if I take one of these pods, I wanted two guys though. That's right. So I need to just drop this thing on the ground. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Um. Wait, can that that can hold three too? It's on there. Oh god, I don't know if this is gonna work. It's gonna glitch the game out so bad if it don't work. Um, it's not gonna work. It ain't gonna work. We'll lower it down. I just wanna drop it on the ground. There. Put it there. That should work. Matter of fact. You're probably still going to, uh... You can get the thing that before me because I'm using the atomic engines to get there. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even check if we're in the right area. We might have to time warp a lot to actually uh, get to a good. Um, I didn't think about that either. <laughs> oh god. A, a good, a good plane approaching or whatnot. Through. I hope I could get some curbs on my seats here. And when I drop this thing, is it going to fall on my ship? That's the thing. I should put some Sepatrons. Oh, God. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, I know it's weird looking, but... Yeah, no, I didn't want a crew report. Okay, I wanted to... Where is it? Oh, duh. It's been a while. Um, okay, get out. Ah! He fell! 
<laughs> Sorry, you're not going to space. Whoa. What just happened there? I don't know. Okay, next guy. EVA, grab it, grab it, grab it, man. Oh my god, I got it. Okay, get in the seat, get in the seat, board it. He's in! I got one Kerbal in one of the seats. Very nice. Okay, here we go. All right, I Grab am, it. I am in orbit and I have a ton of fuel left. Really? Okay, Because yeah, my upper cool. stage has so much Delta V. Oh. Let's check such a uh, screenshot if you want to check it out. <gasps> Hold on one second, one second, one second, <laughs> one second. Okay, you're staying. Oh my god, I think I got my curls. Here, look at this screenshot. The pod is on the ground down there. I'm going to look at your screenshot. Oh, sweet. Oh yeah, I see the pod down there. Nice. You see the two curls sitting there? In their seat? Yeah, yeah, I see them right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That When you see the recording, how I did it, you're going to be laughing your ass off. I swear, you're going to be like, no, he just didn't do that. And poor Bill is under the exhaust of one of the engines. Oh my god, I feel <laughs> sorry for him. Check that screen. So this is going to... All right. Oh, yeah, the shadow up against the sun looks pretty cool. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you I want to get in space. Let me get in space. Hold on. I got to go. Let me go. I want to go. Oh yeah. yeah. You need to get into space Control so we can sync here. up. I'm at about a 83 by 87 kilometer orbit, so roughly about 85 kilometers. Okay. Let me see where we are. Oh, I need to go back to the map view. Sorry, Bill! I'm really sorry about that! I didn't mean it! You never were coming to space anyway! What's the what's the proper <laughs> phase angle for Duna? Um, I think it's a quarter being a quarter of a rotation behind Duna. We like a are quarter about, of a, it's forty five degrees or whatever. We're it is. probably about sixty degrees behind Duna. So not the worst case. That, that might work. Yeah, that's not the worst case. Scenario. Okay. I'm actually gonna start working on a uh, maneuver node actually. Awesome. I've got my Kerbals sitting on their seat. Ready to go. There's a screenshot for you. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Dropping these things. Please don't break my ship. Yeah! Perfect, man. Oh my god, they made the freaking swastika thing again. It's like the weirdest trail of smoke ever. They spiral out like so crazy. Alright. Starting my gravity turn. Putting RCS on. Please don't break my ship. So I'm not getting an encounter though. Oh, you'll get it. Just tweak it. Tweak it, tweak it, tweak it. Once you get out there, you know, and you're like a little bit away from Kervin's influence, you know, you could tweak it again out there and get yeah. an encounter when you're closer. The farther away, though, the better fuel efficiency. So. Right, right. So, let's see, it's about 21 billion meters. Alright, more or less. That's pretty good, I think. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, estimated Burn time of 11 minutes. Really? It's like, they're oh, efficient. Lots of Delta V, but it's going to take forever. <laughs> yep, I told you. Too much. Okay, I had to shut my RCS off. It was wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. That'll give you plenty of time to catch up and sync up, at least. Yeah, I'm going to be up there pretty soon. Oops, oops, oops. Put the RCS back on, man. Put the RCS back on. Um, I'm a minute and 35 seconds away from my apoapsis of 83,000. Very nice. Alright. 
Right. Okay. Getting ready for my... Oh, the Kerbals have such a beautiful view, man. Let me see the... Oh, I can't see the internal view. That would be awesome. Hmm. Can you see internal... The IVA from the seats? I don't think so. I've never... Yeah, you can, can you? I just thought about that. That would be cool in one of the updates to do that. Imagine driving around on the moon, you know, in first person view. If you got cockpits, you can, but, you know, in one of the seats, you can't. That's what sucks. I'm actually going to have to wait a while. Because I'm going to I'm gonna degrade my orbit so much because I have to burn so early. That I'm actually going to burn into the atmosphere, so I'm going to have to wait. Oh. And make adjustments once I get out of the uh, curb and sphere of influence, it seems. Alright, it should be fine here. <clears throat> okay, I'm at my next, my upper stage. I mean, I'm only four minutes off. So it's not going to be a huge, especially when you're talking about interplanetary travel. Oh, yeah. That's not much at all. You can probably sink up and fly right by me <laughs> on your injection station. Nah. <laughs> First set of tanks away. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, I still well, got 7,000 Delta V left. Wow. I've got to do mines right, you know. I've got, I've got to be considerate. I can't really... Oh, well, what's up with that? I actually had to use some of my uh, injection stage to finalize my... Uh, get a stable orbit around Kerbin. Mm -hmm. So that's why I didn't have the full 9,000. Who's this right here? Jeb? Oh yeah. Jeb's got the window view looking out to the planet there. That's amazing. Nice. Alright. Burn it here. I'm gonna try and circularize at 90,000. 90 kilometers. But then, oh, no, never mind. You said we got the right phase angle, so we should be good. Well, it's not, it's not the right phase angle, it's just not the worst. But, yeah, we could still go, you know, we don't yeah, have to Yeah, you can still go, it's just gonna... Well, you brought extra fuel, right? A little bit, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh, I, I have Jeb. I thought I switched off for a, a different Kerbal. Oh, well. Jeb, I guess, is going to be okay. our, uh, our guy. I've got a uh, apoapsis of 90, periapsis of 89. Oh, these guys are just loving it. You guys got your headlights? Yes. Thank you. All right. Oh man, that sucker is bad. Oh, excuse my language. It looks awesome. Oh man. You guys feeling kind of weird like that? I know. Okay. Relatives to the planet, they're like all topsy turvy. Let me <laughs> sit them up for a second so they could sit right. Let's see, where does it say? Oh. I am in the happy. future. You're, or you're in the future. How are you in the future? Have time warp. Um. Hmm, that's weird. Once I get done with yeah, this, yeah, that's it. You're in the past. Yeah, once I get done with this burn, I'll sync up. Alright. Yeah, is that better, guys? You guys happy now? Look how happy they are. Here, I'm gonna send you an ultimate screenshot. You ready? <laughs> Look how happy they are. <laughs> They're just enjoying it. Yeah, we're strapped to a, a rocket that's strapped to or we're strapped to some you rockets. Know, strapped to some rockets. <laughs> their headrest is the freaking nuclear warhead that I'm using to shoot at you. I mean, their their headrest <laughs> is the missile. 
If they nod off too violently, <laughs> they might go ahead and detonate it. Yeah, you know. Why is the back of my head burning? Ah, it's just the uranium pellets, that's all. It's <laughs> right, yeah, you know, rich <laughs> uranium is not too good for me. Hey, cellular headrest gross. warmers, that's all. All oh, right. <laughs> hey, there you go. The last, you know, 300 years. Yep. Actually, probably all a lot right. longer so, than that with Half-Life. That's beautiful. My audience is telling me, screaming at me to go to Duna, because I'm just admiring how awesome that looks. <laughs> Disturbing around. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm just screwing around. So let me set Duna. Is that your orbit? Oh, you're okay. You're burning to Duna. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm already. I thought that was your orbit. Oh yeah. Oh, we're we're pretty far behind, bro. Yeah. For a good, we should be like at an angle where Moho is. Yeah. But a little less, like in between Moho and Eve, I would say, would be a very good spot. That that would have been a good spot. What I'm gonna do? I'm actually not gonna burn my full. Uh... No, I'm actually going to put it a little bit lower so we can catch up a little bit and then adjust it. I don't know, mm. man. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We should have actually looked at that before we, uh, we planned this out, but... What are you going to do? Oh, I'm, I, th I think I'll get a counter here. You could slow down your orbit out there. Yeah. Or you could just arrive early. Let me see if I can... Like, try and arrive... I mean, really I've got like... plenty of fuel. I just I have to plan my maneuvers out several minutes in advance so that we have enough time to burn them. You know. Mm-hmm. I should be able to get a Duna, no problem. A little unorthodox, but we'll get there. Hmm. Have I not even escaped? No, I'm my I'm not even out to the moon yet. My orbit. Jeez. I've been burning for a while. Hmm. My encounter, my closest approach is like 22 billion miles away. <laughs> um. Hey, you stand this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> My closest approach, I can't even see you do now. I've got the Delta V. I just need to get an approach out here. Whoa, what happened there? Whoa, what just happened there? Huh? Alright, I'm just gonna get out and then, yeah. Figure it out when I get out of Kerbin, I guess. Yeah, we are gonna have this battle. We just have to have it somewhere where that has an atmosphere. <laughs> that way we can actually, uh. <laughs> Land these guys because they're designed parachutes. to land with parachutes. Well, let's go to eat. Oh, you've already did your bird. Yeah. We can go to one of the moons around Jewel if you've got the Delta V. Uh, I should. That's a long shot, though. I mean, I'd have to burn for a long time, and it's yeah, way no, behind. I don't think it, it's actually behind us now, so I mean, we'd have to. I couldn't, yeah. They'd do some crazy maneuvers to do that. Alright. In other words, guys, um, what we're saying here is we did not plan this out very well at all. No, yeah. Um, we're like, hey, we're let's go shoot missiles at each other. Little... Duna. Yeah. That's about Where's as far Duna as we again got. now? <laughs> <laughs> is it in the solar system? I thought it was in the next galaxy. What you talk about this solar system? It could be. That's you mean we didn't have to bring that much Delta V? <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright. So, I have an estimated burn. My burn is only going to be ready for this 1 minute and 13 seconds. And that's a 1200 meter per second burn. 
Yeah, mine was pretty much the same, but my engines are a little bit weaker than yours. Mm hmm. Just a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. A little bit. All but right. yeah, 1,200 meters of Delta V, that's nothing. I've got like 3,000 in this ship. I still got almost 6,000 left. Okay. So I've got plenty. Have we synced? We haven't synced, have we? No, I'm, I'm going to wait till I get done with this burn and then sync. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot to put my SAS on. I was doing my burn and it went crazy like. Noob. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Point that sucker up there. Get it going. Where'd the music go? On my way to Duna. Headlights don't do nothing for giving me light. <laughs> yeah, that's why I put, I put lights on my, on my rocket uh, pointing up at my uh, um, rover just to have some little bit of illumination. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> Turn around. Go back to the VAB. Yeah, no, I'm not turning around from here. My uh, ascending node and descending node is only off by 0.3. But doing wow. this, like we're almost perfectly flat. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Alright. So I am out of here. Done my burn. I'm gonna show my in my flight engineer to show my Apple Epicite at negative uh, five thousand kilometers. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, what is going you burned in a weird direction. You burned like retrograde towards curving almost. You burned like straight towards the sun. <laughs> Wait. Our burns are opposite of each other. No, I started in the normal. Ah, oh, it's just I bet you these damn. Engines Maybe the are time because so you're... Un underpowered. I'm only go going to be going retrograde. To... <laughs> How are you going to burn towards Duna burning retrograde? Uh... <laughs> <What the> <laughs> All right, let's uh let's kill this maneuver. No, wait, wait, because no, you're burning towards Duna at a later time. That's good. That's good. I just was curious how you set that. You know, as long as it's bringing your orbit out towards Duna. It is. Yeah. I killed the node, mm -hmm. but I can still burn in the same general area. Yeah, I left. You see my angle the way I left? I don't see you at all. Oh, for real? You still don't see me? Yeah, I'm still in the We past. need to sync up. Yeah. Well, let me. I'm gonna bump my, uh, bump my um, Apple episode up to about twenty thousand or twenty billion. <laughs> and then I'll I'll cut it. Um, I need to time accelerate. Maybe we can sync up when we get to Duna. Who knows? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and like, time warp out of this. Uh, I see, yeah, your time warping. And then see where I'm at. Alright. Oh, I see you now. Oh! I, I can sync with you now. I'm gonna sync. Alright. Alright. Let's see now. Oh, okay. Um. Wait, is that I, think, me? I think my game yeah. is. Oh, don't say no. What well, saved? You should be able to log back in, right? I hope so. Oh, no, yeah, it shows that you're still there. there. Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right, and we're close to each other, bro. We are. 
All right. We could like fly there side by side, literally almost. No, I'm I'm going the right direction. All right, so I'm gonna yeah. make a, a maneuver at my periapsis. You have an apoapsis of like 17 billion, right? Or yeah. whoa, that... yeah, 17 billion. Ah, um, it's freezing. How are we gonna get to Duna? Where is Duna gonna be at? I mean, ugh. let me make a maneuver. This is gonna be weird. I think I should lower my apoapsis. You think I should lower my apoapsis so that way when I get out farther, I could burn prograde to fix it? I don't know. I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Ooh, that's weird. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we both did it at the same time. <laughs> you trying to figure out what I'm trying to figure out? I'm trying to figure out where the best spot to burn is. Me too! I was trying to put a freaking node out ahead of me and trying to figure it out. Duna. And get to the right phase angle in order to fix ah, it. Jeez. It keeps spazzing out. I can't put a... It keeps erasing my maneuvers. Hmm. <laughs> That's not annoying at all. <laughs> Still messing with you? Yeah. Every time I try to adjust it by moving it, it erases it. Like when I get down to moving it. Whoa. 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 Whoa, that's totally not trippy at all. When the world synced or something, one of my fuel lines is no longer connect to the missile. It's like connected to the air instead next to my rover. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does, does this screenshot make sense to you right here? Let me get a good angle on it. Just look at that. That's weird. <laughs> It's just like connected out to the middle of nowhere, like an antenna. <laughs> it's sending weird. a signal home. <laughs> Why is it doing that? That is so trippy. All right, so I'm okay, just gonna time okay. accelerate and do what I gotta do. If if I burn at my Apple apps. It gets me closer. By closer, I mean um, only three million kilometers away, almost four million. Hmm. Whoa! I passed mine. God dang it! This is gonna burn retrograde. Is it? Uh oh, uh oh. Whoa! How'd you get way out there? 150 kilometers, dude. You're 150 kilometers away from an encounter from Duna? Yep. Where and did you do that at? Here, I'll send you a screenshot. Um, from. Uh. The apoapsis. It's 54 kilometers. Oh no, that's thousand. That's thousand. 54,000 kilometers. All right, where the hell is Duna in this screenshot? Duna is pretty much uh, about still about 70 degrees or so away. Right here. Yeah. 
This is weird. Okay. Um. Can you turn the camera angle a different direction? Like towards behind the uh, maneuver node? Yeah, one second. Here, <gasps> man. I just gonna keep Hold tweaking on. with it. I got, I got an encounter. Let me know. I'll send you this first screenshot. And then oh, man. I'll rotate around and I'll put my mouse over Duna so you can see where Duna is. Send you another screenshot. Huh. You lucky son of a gun. Duna's way out here, though. What the hell? All right, that's going to be a 13 minute uh, burn. It's going to take almost 2,000 uh, meters a second of Delta V. I see what you did. Good thing I have. When you got out now. there, you burned to catch up to it. No, I haven't burned at all once I've I, I escaped uh, no. curb in orbit. No, I know. I'm talking about that's what the maneuver note is. It's like you're going to be burning to catch yeah, up to Duna. I adjusted a uh, uh, a burn towards it and adjusted the nice. blue anti-normal. I think is what it's called. I think I, I could do that same thing. I'm going to try it. That's an awesome little burn you did there. I like that. Appreciate it. Usually I'm horrible at doing stuff like that. So I'm going to burn. It's a 13 minute oh, burn. I'm going to burn until I'm about an hour out and then I'll wait for you um, to catch up to get us to a similar position. I don't even know if I'm ever going to make it there, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's going to take me a while to warp that way. It's uh, I'm 79 days away. I'm gonna try and do right that. Right now would be a like very nice did. thing to uh, quick save, but we can't. I know, right? I can't believe I got an encounter. I mean, um, it's my periaps is a uh, 28 million meters. But uh, I was, how long does it last? I got one. Oh, nice. I think I got one. It's way different than yours, though. Hey, as long as we both make it to Duna, <laughs> that's all that matters, right? You know. Closest approach separation: eighty-five million. Come on. I mean that sucker. Eighty two. Ah, oh, come on, give me that sucker. I think I almost had one there for a split second. Oh, I can't get it closer than that. 81. Alright, so I'm going to do that burn and then fine tune after. <clears throat> Alright. It's only a 44 second burn. Alright, do your burn and then sync up to me. Alright. Actually, let me time over a little bit. Wow. It's, I'm good, like, if we sink, I'm gonna be, like, crashed into a planet, bro. It's, like, way around the solar system. I think you should land first before okay, I sink, Okay, yeah, man. yeah, let's, uh, let's definitely... You know what I mean, like? I, I agree. Yeah, you... Because, like, what if I put myself on a trajectory to land, and then, like, it's, like, it fast-forwards time, and you already supposedly had land, like... I don't know. It's I understand weird. what you're saying. Yeah, we, we definitely uh, need to watch that. I mean, it says I could sink, but I'm just so afraid to touch it. <laughs> oh, man. We can link. We could sink when we get on the ground of Duna, right? You think? I hope so. All right. I'm 15 days away. Well, how many total days does it say? I'm at 90 days. I'm at 79 days. Alright, see, so I'm in the future. Mm. 
All right, getting close. All right, I got a couple minutes till my burn. All right. Oh, not even lined up with my burn. I passed it to positive two minutes. Oh, why am I zoomed out so much? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get over there. Alright, good enough, I'm burning. Ah, it's so hard to keep this bad boy lined up with the weight of the rover. What are you trying to say? My ship broke? No, I just think the sinking kind of got a little wonky. Uh, uh oh, I hope it's alright. Alright, let's see what happens with this now. I should be. Close, uh, separation 82 million still, and then I'll do some fine tuning. All right, it says you're in the past. Um, I can't sink yet. You think we should? I don't know. Huh? That's weird. Trial and error. How much time we got in the episode? Uh, 42 minutes. <laughs> really? I wasn't That's even splendid. Paying attention. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and end it. That's no problem. Kerbal Space Program is always super small episodes. Well, we went really for the long haul for you guys today. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed yeah. it. You yeah. want to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, obviously, check out Eddie's point of view, see what he's going through with his uh, struggles with this mod. And uh, we're, we're, we're heading to dinner. We're going to do it, man. Yep, we're doing it. Definitely. Yep. Definitely. Awesome. All right, so guys, uh, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, do all that awesome stuff. As always, catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Later.